Hey, superstars! There's my light or lamp is in like the worst case or worst worst place um, in the room. So there's, I always look like I have a halo in front of me. Good morning. I hope you're all having an awesome day. I am um, having so many thoughts this week because I'm leaving for Cancun. No, Punta Cana. <laughs> In on Saturday. Hey Laura! So I'm leaving for Punta Cana on Saturday. Um, that'll be the 22nd. It's already the 18th and I come back on the 27th. Meaning I'm gonna be gone and not able to give you guys as much one-on-one -on -one attention as I usually do from the 21st probably until the 28th. And that's scary to me because I feel like I work really closely with you guys. And so I want to set you up for success. I want everyone to be at Success Club, like help three solid people be at Success Club 6 by the 21st. That way I'll be at ease knowing that you guys have already reached your first goal and you're starting to push for Success Club 10 and you're starting to you know, convert your discount coaches to working coaches and things like that while I'm gone. Yes, Laura will be here. <laughs> she is filling in for me. Also, Mallory Flynn will be filling in. So, I mean, you guys can obviously do amazing things without me all on your own. Um, but I just love working with you guys so much. And so when I don't, I feel like I'm letting you guys down. So that's that's where this feeling is coming from. Awesome, Coley. Yes, you will be. So I'm going to give you guys two different sets of tips. One is for those of you that are at zero to four points who still want to hit Success Club this month. Why would you want to hit Success Club? Lots of reasons. One, Beachbody is giving away a free, really cool backpack to everyone who helps just three people this month. Two, you'll get a special gift from me from Punta Cana. I'm going to go to the gift shop and pick out little prizes for everybody who hits Success Club. Um, this is how you'll grow a residual income. So it's not just one life changed. It's, you know, hopefully they love their results. They love their transformation. They're going to order Shakeology again and again and the next month and the next month. And every time they order, it's 30 to $40 for us. So it's that residual income so that you eventually don't have to work as hard, basically. Um, yeah, that backpack looks so awesome. Hey, Mallory. Sweet. Yeah. And so if you have another account that you can work, getting them to Success Club will help your income, your residual growth, and help you up the leadership ladder as well. Okay, so that's the first set of tips. And then my second set of tips are going to be how to find quality working coaches that want to work the business. So I'm just going to jump right in. My first set of tips is for those of you on how you're going to help people this month. And I've got three things for you guys. One, connecting with people. I think people skip this step or they stay in this step, right? They're too afraid to take the next step or they go right, which is inviting, or they go right to inviting. Make sure you're connecting with someone. How do I know I'm building a connection? They respond to me. They ask me questions. I ask them questions. We're talking about lots of different things, not just health and fitness. Um, we're talking about coffee and wine and our dogs and Orange Theory and our workouts and, you know, the warm weather and where they're from and where we want to travel. You know, like tons of like conversation just flows when you're finding the right people, which is a whole other topic. But build a connection first. Then when I feel like I'm truly connect with, connected with them, that's when I go in for the invite. Don't wait too long because somebody else is going to invite them. I was just talking to Gretchen today. I signed up two girls. Um, that apparently she had been talking to but never invited. She didn't feel like it was the right time and they signed up with me. Sorry, Gret. <laughs> you know, and I didn't know she was talking to them. Um, another example, Jess Britch and I somehow are like connecting with very similar people, some of the same exact people on Instagram. And she invited one of my like top prospects and I'm like, no. So I had to remove her from my list and now I'm like, I'm gonna build that connection but invite as soon as I can because worst case scenario, they're going to say no or they're going to ignore me. Cool, I'll move on. You know, Best case, they ask for more information or I guess the real worst case is they go to somebody else because we waited too long to invite. Okay, so the point, connect with people first about anything, anything, and then go right into the invite. Don't be afraid. 
Tip number two, you have to track your business, you guys. You have to, no matter what way you do it. Whether you are using pen and paper, whether you have your bubble sheet, I still have my bubble sheet here of 100 names and people on the back. Um, I use Google Streak and I set it up super, super simple. Okay, I have a column for my new contacts, or a stage, a stage for my new contacts, interactions, which I now do that one in the same, connections, invites, follow-ups, and I just move people from stage to stage to stage. So if this is your first week tracking, it's really easy because today, say you add 35 new friends to your um, prospect list, then tomorrow, interact with them. The next day, connect with them. Then I'll, I would still probably connect and then go in for the invite and then follow up. But you'll notice over time that people ignore you. They don't get back to you right away. New people will come up that reach out to you. Um, so you'll have lots of different people in all of these stages and if you're not tracking your business, you will forget and they will not reach back out to you. They won't. So you need to know exactly who you're talking to, when you need to invite them, when to follow up, when to do all of these things so that you take advantage of it. You hop, you're right there so that when they are ready, you are the one they go to. They don't go to the person that's posting more than you. They don't go to the person who has a bigger transformation than you. They go to you because you have that connection with them and you've been following up with them. So tip number two, track your business. Tip number three, consistency. That's all it is, you guys. It's building that connection it's tracking your business and then consistently doing those things, consistently adding new people to your network, um, staying connected, so like reconnecting with those people, inviting people, following up with them, and then repeat. Go back to connect, re-invite, follow up, connect, re-invite, follow up until they sign up, and they will. But if you're only relying on five people that you invited, if I invited five people, they wouldn't sign up. My ratio is honestly like 10 to one. I need to invite 10 people and one will sign up. Yours might be different, especially if you're newer. Hey, Caitlin. If you're newer, your ratio might be smaller because you have people that trust you already. I'm working only with my cold market. I'm trying to turn my cold market into my warm market. That takes time. And then I'm inviting them and following up with them. So for me, 10 invites will maybe yield one sign up. So keep that in mind. There is power in numbers. If you're not at Success Club yet, you need to talk to more people. If you're not at your goals yet, you need to talk to more new people, okay? Um, oh, and also consistency with your posting. While that's not part of my expand your network, interact, connect, invite, follow up, posting is huge because when you invite someone to me, that's planting the seed. So you are planting the seed of whether of like the coaching opportunity or a challenge group. And even if they say no, they are watching your page. They're watching your transformation. So you need to be so consistent in sharing, in posting everything, your workouts, your life, your hobbies, your transformation, your hobbies again, like more so your hobbies and all this other stuff. But but you have to be consistent with posting. If not, your prospects are gonna find me where I post three to five times a day and come to me. You don't want that, I don't want that. So be present and relevant on social media, okay? So those are my top three tips on how you'll help three brand new people this month. Connect with new people, track your business, and just be consistent in those four so simple activities. Now, moving on, let me get a sip of water. Let's see if there's any questions. I don't think. If you guys have questions, feel free. Hey, Ash. Okay, cool. So going on to my next topic, how to attract quality coaches. So I did share a link. I can, I'll share it with you guys too. I just posted it in a comment um, of Laura's. But I've got one, two, four tips on how to attract quality coaches that are working the business, not just discount coaches. Tip number one. My quality coaches come from challengers. Let me go to my page and count. I don't know if Mallory is still on, but Mallory is a discount, was a discount coach. She even told me that she didn't want to join my challenge groups. She just wanted to do it on her own. Then she eased into challenge groups and now she's a diamond coach, rock star coach on our team. Um, Carly Dunlevy, 
discount coach told me she'd never work the business. One star diamond coach on our team. Um, who else is rising? Ashley LaSure, she wasn't a discount coach. She did join, I think, Ashley, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she joined for the opportunity, the, the coaching opportunity, but she eased into it slowly. She waited to get everything in the mail. She didn't even order a challenge pack. She got hip hop abs and then won and paid the extra $40 to coach and slowly eased into it. Now, what are you, Ash? Are you a three-star diamond? Soon to be four or five-star because she has another diamond popping tomorrow or Thursday. Um, Gretchen Holly, my sister, who I signed up because I needed success club points one month and slowly she eased in. Now she's a diamond coach on our team. You know, so you get the picture. Most of the people that are awesome on my team started as challengers. So don't discount. I was just going to ask, how many coaches do you have that weren't challengers? Well, I mean, I have a, a lot of coaches. Um, in terms of like, solid coaches that are working the business. I mean, I'd say it's half and half, Laura. I'd say half of them started off as challengers and turned into coaches. The other half I've been talking to for a year, honestly, like a year. Rachel, Rachel, you just joined. She and I, I feel like have been talking for two to three years, so long. So she knew the ins and outs of the business and she jumped in as a challenger and a coach. Um, so there are some people, to be honest, Laura, you defy the odds. When someone comes to me and says they want to coach, or you know, if I invite them directly to the coaching opportunity, they're not as successful as my discount coaches because discount coaches aren't gonna give up on you. Discount coaches love the products, they love their transformation, so even if they don't make any money, they're still with you. They're still sharing their journey. Whereas people who sign up just for the coaching opportunity and they don't yet love the products, they don't use it as consistently as they should, they only see money in their eyes, they're not, you know, when they don't earn money, they're gonna quit. And that's exactly what I found. So with you, Laura, you're like, amazing obviously um, but n most people are not as motivated as you and such go-getters as you and they have hesitations around this opportunity so I'd rather get them in see results and then get them to coach and work the business um, so tip number one it comes from challengers don't be afraid to sign up a regular customer or a discount coach just make sure you're helping them see a transformation and then you present the opportunity to them the actual coaching opportunity to them tip number two to find attractive working attractive attract quality coaches they're probably attractive as well um, share what coaching has done for you whether, I say this all the time, you know, whether you were able to splurge on an extra bottle of wine, right, or buy the expensive toilet paper, or go out for coffees. I used to never, ever get coffees, you guys, because I was like, it's $2 on the cheap side, $2. If I did that every day before work, what, that would be two times five is $10. That would be 40 freaking dollars a month on coffee. That was, that was like blowing my mind. Now, I, I should do a post about this. Now, I go to Duncan almost every morning and get two coffees, one for me, one for Harry, and it's double the amount, and, and I'm okay with it. So little things like that. People can't relate to my six-figure income, guys. They can relate to those small stories. So share your story. But more importantly, to attract quality coaches, share what coaching has done for you in terms of income. And income-wise, share specifically what has it done for you. What have you been able to buy or save for or pay off, you know, things like that. Um, your transformation, obviously. Share, you know, the community aspect, how, you know, before, honestly, I never talked to people about my health and fitness goals, ever. I was too embarrassed. Now, I've got a community of like 500 coaches and all of our downlines to talk to about this stuff. And so it's a, it's a support system. So think about all the different ways that coaching has impacted you. Even if you signed up yesterday, hopefully you feel like you have a friend in me and share that. You know, share that you are, you know, you're so excited for your whole team that's going up to Punta Cana this, this weekend. While you may not be, you are earning your trip to Riviera Maya next year, right? So share what you're optimistic about. So even if you've earned zero dollars, you've helped zero people, there is still things that you can post about.
right? You're being more consistent. You're more accountable on your fitness journey. You're earning your way towards the next trip, things like that. Tip number three, invite to the coaching opportunity. Now this is twofold. One, invite your discount coaches. I invite my discount coaches every single month to the sneak peek that we do so that they can learn more about what we do and that's how I get that's how I convert them. I give them an awesome challenge group experience. I check in with them one on one and then I invite them to the coaching opportunity. Another thing is that, that I do is I find people who are already posting about health and fitness. In fact, I found someone today that I shared in my Sam Superstars page. That girl, you guys, she would be a perfect coach. So right now, I'm just connecting with her, and I just want her to be friends with her. Next week, probably, or maybe later this week, depending on how our conversation goes, I'm inviting her directly to the coaching opportunity. So find people, or even think of people that you know online. I think I'm so much like all I do is work with my cold market that I forget to talk about your warm market. Talk to your existing family, your friends, people you used to go to high school with. Also, Laura, all the coaches that are left and that are that have gotten to Emerald or above, I not all of them. Most of them I knew. Like when I first signed up, let's let's go to the top of my downline, okay? When I first signed up, I've got Nick Butts. I went to college with him. Kim Benson went to camp with her. Heather O'Field, I cheered with her. Jackie Westhall, she, I absorbed because her coach, Jess Corwin, I cheered with her, she ended up quitting, so I absorbed Jackie. Um, Ashley Gerace uh, went to high school with her. Kelsey Dewar went to camp with her. Lauren Cole played soccer with her. Nikki, my very first Instagram coach. Um, and then I get into some more people. So let's go to my other side. That was all my left leg, my right leg. Ashley Lachur cheered with her. Gretchen, twin sister. Aaron went to college with her. Desiree met her on Facebook, but we live in the same town. Harry, my fiance, Christine Domenko played soccer with her. Teresa went to college with her. So you guys, these are not my best friends. Now they are. These were not my best friends. Ashley and I hadn't talked in a solid five to six years, I think, yeah, maybe even seven years, but I still, I started up that connection with her again. Let's go back. Kim Benson I hadn't talked to definitely in like seven years. And I just started talking to her again and invited her. Um, you know, Heather O'Field, we were friendly. You know, we cheered on the same team, but we weren't best friends. So think of people that know you and trust you and reach out to them. You know, don't underestimate the people that you know in real life. Those are the people that you won't have to work as hard for. Those are the people that already know you and trust you. So yes, you need to connect with them but go in for the invite sooner, much sooner than you would a cold invite, okay? So invite to the coaching opportunity, and all those people you guys may have known. I cheered with them, I played soccer with them, I knew them from college, and they I knew that they would, would work out in the gym, or I knew that they um, were part of field hockey or another sport, so they had some relation to health and fitness. So it was super easy to start a connection with them and be like, I have no idea if this would interest you at all. Thanks, Rachel. I won it from one of the challenges, like the fall classic, I think it was. Um, okay, so my script, like, I have no idea if this would interest you at all, but I know that we used to cheerlead together, and I think that you'd be amazing at what I do. Would you be interested in learning more about what I do as a fitness ambassador? Short and sweet. Maybe they'll say no. Okay, go invite two more people. Maybe they'll say yes. Go invite two more people, because you never know. Sorry, Laura, I'm just seeing your comment. I'm going to focus on getting all the challenges. Inst yes, I think waiting to find the perfect coach holds holds us back because it takes forever. And honestly, would I ever have guessed that Mallory Flynn would have been a top coach on my team? No, because she showed no interest initially, right? So we never know. And then, like like I was sharing, some discount coaches will grow to be your top producers. Some people who come in and say they want to be a top 10 coach will fall off after two months and quit. So you n truly never, ever, ever know who is going to work the business and who's going to be successful or not. So don't wait for that perfect coach. Don't wait to find it. Invite everybody um, and work with the willing. Um, so last tip is just follow up. Follow up. Rachel, how long have you and I been talking before you actually signed up? Amber, hey, I see you just joined. How long did we talk before you signed up? I was talking with Raina for probably three months before I signed up. 
Let me look at these other people. Laura, you and I, I think it was maybe like a week or two before you signed up. Let me go to more recent coaches. Um, Keisha Washington, talked to her for three years before she signed up. Two years at least, yep. Um, Caitlin, about a month, I think, because we waited a, at least a couple weeks before you signed up. Um, Liz Connor, I don't know if she's even in this group. She was like, I wanted her so badly. I found her on Instagram, and she just signed up, I think it was last month. But that was a solid year of just interacting and connecting, inviting, interacting, connecting, interacting, connecting, re-inviting. You know, and it just so happened that last month was perfect timing. Taylor Frazier, another example. She signed up as a customer and was like, I don't need your shakes. Now she signed up as a coach and working the business. Um, Michelle, couple weeks to, you, you get the picture. I don't have to go through these people, but f I followed up with them religiously at least once a month. Actually not at least once, once a month. <laughs> okay. So nobody ever falls off your list. Even if they told me no, they stayed on my list. I'm sure Rachel told me no at least once within those two years, but I said, okay, no problem at all. By the way, how are your pets? How are you liking Pennsylvania? What are you doing for summer? How is your Easter? And then eventually she was interested, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, Riviera Maya is gonna be really awesome. So, so those are my tips to attract quality coaches. To, to recap for you guys, one, most quality coaches of mine come from challengers. So give them an awesome experience and invite them to the opportunity after their first group. Two, share what coaching has done for you in all aspects financial, physical, mental, habitual, emotional, team-wise. Three, invite the actual coaching opportunity. Four, follow up with all the people that you're talking to at forever, forever, until they sign up. And know that they will. So like when somebody tells me no, I don't get sad anymore. I'm like, okay, no problem at all. By the way, have you ever tried Orange Theory Fitness? By the way, I'm trying to find out the dimensions of my room to send to my tax accountant. Do you know how big this room would be? Literally, you guys, anything is what I go back to connecting about. Um, and eventually they'll sign up. If you are consistent with posting and reconnecting with them, Valerie joined again, <laughs> then they will sign up, okay? So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you realize that this business is so easy. It just comes down to numbers. That's it. Number of new people that you find and number of follow-ups that you have right? If you don't have follow-ups to do, you need to invite people. If you don't have invites to do, you need to find new people and build connections with them. If you have no one to build a new connection with, you need to expand your network. Okay, so look at your struggle area. Is it that nobody's saying yes? Invite more people and, and you work, work your way back. So if nobody is saying yes to you, you need to invite more people. If you have no one to invite, build a connection. If you have no one to build a connection with, which Yes, you do. Go through your entire Facebook friends list. Start connecting with those people ASAP. Go through people that follow you on Instagram or find your own people. I find my own people. Don't rely on people who like your posts and whatnot. They're, they're going to be the coaches and competitors and things like that. So find your own tribe and, yeah, and keep growing. So keep it simple. Be consistent, and you guys will get there. So any other questions, feel free to comment, and I'll get back to you later today. Bye, guys.